Tuesday and Thursday. God, I can't speak. And I'll see you guys from the basement during the next workout. Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50. Welcome to today's workout. Today we have a very beginner friendly dumbbell workout. I'm going to be using my favorite dumbbells, which are my power blocks for this entire workout. So let's get started. We only have seven exercises. Beginner workout meaning kind of aimed at adults. Somebody's in their 40s, 50s, 60s, all right? I'm gonna be 53. I used to be a runner. I started lifting weights not too long ago. So a beginner workout goes something like this. You're gonna do chest presses, but only two sets. Little raises for the shoulders. We're gonna do a row. Goblet squat for the legs. Skull crushers for the tricep, just one set. One set of curls, and then one set for core. And that's it, guys. That's something you can always build on, and it's better to do this than continue to build on it rather than start too hard, get injured, and then stop. Chest presses. Going to go for between 12 to 20 repetitions. Keep the repetitions higher. Take a little bit of tension of the joints and everything else. No need to ego lift once you get a little bit older. Let's start with the chest presses. I'm going to go for 40 pounds. So adjust these to 40 pounds. Obviously you don't have to use power blocks, but if you do, do have them, feel free to use them. If this is your first set of dumbbells that you've ever gotten. So 40 pounds. Chest presses, I should I call them floor presses, gonna be done on the floor, also protects you from going down and overextending too low. If you do have a bench, be very careful with it. If you don't have a bench, eventually you can move up to the bench. For now, we're doing them on the floor. Remember, we're aiming to go higher repetitions and we're gonna stop about three or four reps short of what we can do as a maximum, all right? So floor presses, you guys should be seeing the preview right now. Keep everything nicely lined up. Stack your arms and then just go up and down, up and down. Ready to go in three, two, one, and let's go. Up and all the way down and up. A nice slow negative, up. Keep going. Keep it up. Let's do a couple more. One. And two. And weights down. Nice and easy. Set them down carefully. It's very easy to get injured in between the transition areas, like putting the weights down, picking the weights up. So you wanna be just as careful doing that as, as if you were actually exercising. The weights are, you're still holding the weight, so don't strain something when you are not paying as much attention as when you're actually doing the exercise. So let's take a little break. Your breaks depend. Whenever you feel like you're ready and you know your chest has recovered a little bit, not too long, not too short, you're ready to go. It doesn't make a difference if it's 30 seconds or a minute and 30 seconds. Find the time that works for you and move on from there. I'm going to get started. I don't have a clock in about 15, 20 seconds or so. If that works for you, that's great. If you felt like that way it was a little bit heavy or a little bit light, with these dumbbells, they're easy enough to change out. You don't have, you have to get up. You just pull the pin out and change them up to whatever you, else you need to do. All right, so one set down. Remember, we're only doing two sets. Two sets, if you repeat this workout two or three times a week, that's plenty to get started. Do that for about a month and then move on from there and build on it slowly with very basic exercises. The last thing you wanna do is get hurt or follow some influencer on YouTube and because he or she said, hey, do these great exercises. Stick to the basics, like the floor press. All right, let's go for set number two. I like leaving my legs bent because it pushes my lower back to the ground. You guys ready to go? Weights up. Notice how I just lift them up. They were just standing on their own. And ready to go, three, two, one, and let's go. Up, all the way down. Rest for a second, and up. A nice slow negative. Up. 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 
and up. 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 Nice and slow. And up. And up. Let's do three more. One. Two. And three. Once again, nice and slow. Slowly put the weights down. That's it. Careful all the time. No reason to rush. All right, I'm gonna put the weights back. Notice even right now when I'm picking up off the floor, I am supporting myself with the other hand, lifting it up, putting it back. Always trying to be careful because guess what? I like to work out tomorrow again. Up and back. So, all right, so we took care of our chest. We're moving on to the shoulders. We're not doing shoulder presses, however. We're going to go with a lateral raise. Shoulder presses are not a bad exercise. I am never going to knock an exercise. Different strokes for different folks. I like doing lateral raises because they build, I feel, they build the shoulders better, all right? Not gonna do those with 40 pounds, however. So, heaven that we have our power blocks, I'm gonna take the middle weights out, out of both of them, and I'm going to go for 15 pounds per arm. I find that for me, that works exactly right. Obviously for you, you do what you need to do. All right, we got our 15 pounders. Same thing, two sets, and that's it. All right, weights in hand. You don't have to stand straight up when you do this exercise. You can lean forward a little bit. Have your arms in front of you. A little bit, a little bit of a bend in your elbows. And we're just gonna lift it up without shrugging it up, okay? So let's go for as many reps as we can. Let's shoot for 12 to 15 once again. Ready? Three, two, one. Make sure I don't hit a wall and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep it up. Six, nice and slow and control. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Let's do one more. And five. Weights down nice and easy. Even though they're only 15 pounders, so we multiply times two, it's 30 pounds. Put it down easy, don't get hurt. All right. Take another 30, 40 second break. We're moving on to our second and final set. Second, boy, my voice squeal on that. To our second set of the lateral raises and then we'll take care of the shoulders. After we go move on to back, then a little bit of legs and we're gonna be golden and done. How you guys doing? I hope you're enjoying this workout. I hope you're gaining a little bit of information aside from the workout. Like I said, be very careful when you're starting out. It takes longer to recover. It takes, you know, it's harder to build a little bit of muscle, a little bit of strength. And like I said, the recovery time between sets and between workouts is a lot longer when you reach 50 years old, let's say. So just be careful and add the weights and add repetitions very slowly. If you only add five pounds per exercise to your weight on like a heavy, on a squat or so forth, just five pounds a week. Think about it. After a year, you know, you've added 100 pounds, 250 pounds, whatever it is, I can't do math. So just be very careful when you're doing these things. Five pounds a week times 50 weeks is a lot of weight. Anyway, math is not my strong suit when I'm working out. If you guys have been here before, you know that. All right, we're moving on to set number two. You guys ready to go in three, two, one, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Control the weight. Seven at all times. Nine, ten. I got two more in me and I'm gonna stop. One and two. And that's it. Shoulders taken care of. 
from here we're gonna move on to back exercises and for the back we're gonna do some rowing we're gonna do both arms actually you know what let's do one arm at a time because it is safer and I'll show you guys why than doing both arms at a time and being the consistency is probably the single most important thing that we can do. The safer we are, the more workouts we're gonna be able to come back for, the more consistent we will be. Thus, the better our results will be. All right, so we're gonna do one arm at a time. So I'm using, once again, 40 pounds. You guys should be seeing the preview right now. I like using one arm, especially starting out, because you can support yourself with the other arm on your knee as you roll up. So if you did both arms, then you're depending on your core and your lower back to take that pressure off. Doing one arm, you have a little bit of support. I don't, once again, no bench here, so I'm just gonna support myself on the knee. If you had a bench, you could support yourself on a bench or a chair or a table or whatever you're using. Same thing, two sets, one arm at a time. We're gonna go one, two, take a break, and go one, two again. You guys ready to go? And let's go, one, two, full extension, three. Kind of drive that weight on a little bit of angle. Full extension, and let's bring that elbow all the way back. Two more, one, and two. Weights down slowly, switch sides, grab your support first, bend down, grab the weight, and let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nice and slow, 10, let's do two more, one, and two, and that's it. Now we can take a nice little break, and we'll come back right to this. Whew. Let's see what we got here. Let's take another 20 seconds and then we'll move back to set number two. That's gonna take care of shoulders, chest, and back. Nice quick little workout, a lot of rest, nice and rested. And like I said, make sure you get a full, full range of motion. This, even though the weight's pulling you down, right? Don't let it pull you. If, it's, if you can't hold it, drop the weight. All right. Ready, up, and let's go. One, elbow back. Two, think about driving that elbow behind you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more, for me at least. One, and two, and that was a good stretch. And we're switching sides immediately. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got four more for a total of 12. One, two, three, and four. All right, we are done with that. Now we're gonna move on to goblet squats. What should we use? What weight should we use for a goblet squat? You know what, I'm gonna stick with the 40, or should I try a 50? No, I'm gonna stick with the 40, because remember what I said in the beginning of the video? No ego lifting. Even though I'm being filmed, I'm gonna do the smart thing and just stay with 40 pounds. Once again, should be seeing the preview for the goblet squat. Yes, they're possible to do with these type of dumbbells, even though there's not as many options for the grip, can still manage to do it. Let me apologize in advance. If the dumbbell hits the microphone, the sound is kind of going to get jacked up. And that's all right though. You guys know what to do. All right, goblet squat. Go as deep as you can. If your joints hurt, maybe it's not the right exercise for you or just don't go as deep. Eventually, as you go, you'll get better at it. I sometimes go all the way to the ground, sometimes halfway. It all depends how my knees feel that day. Let's give it a shot today. All right. 
like I said, these are very grippable, just like that. And let's go, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, nice and slow. Three, try to stay as upright as possible. Four, five, six, seven. Let's do five more. One, two, three, four, and up. One more, down, and up. And then put the weight down, however it works for you. I thought it was gonna go all the way down. I didn't. Hey, there we go, weight's down, I'm safe. Lower back's protected. I always say, I film these videos, and one shot guys. My workouts are your workouts. I'll just edit it later, but I don't really edit anything out or edit anything. My edit consists of showing you guys the preview, putting some music on. That's it. These are real, as close to a live workout as you can get without it actually being live. All right, let's take a few more seconds. I'm gonna try to go for 12 repetitions again, this time with a little bit of a pause at the bottom, just a little bit, half a second. I don't wanna use the momentum and get any bounce back to continue my rep. A little bit of a pause, good form, best form as you can, become the master of the form, you'll never get hurt and you'll get better results. Don't worry about the amount of weight. If you did this with no weight, perfectly fine. All right? All right, let's go for set number two, the last and final set for the legs. And let's go for a goblet squat. Find your grip, find your weight. Ready, in three, two, one, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, two more for 12, one, two. All right, let's re-rack this slowly. And we are done with the legs. We have three more exercises left. That's it. So now we're gonna go on the arms. We did chest. When we were doing chest, it was working the tricep. When we're doing back, when we're rowing, it was working the bicep. So for that reason, because those muscles already got worked, we're just gonna do one set of skull crushers, which will work the tricep, followed by one set of curls, which will work the bicep, all right? Skull crushers. Let's find a solid weight that I could do, and that sounds like it'll be about 25 pounds. So take the middle weights out of your dumbbells if you're using power block dumbbells. Quick adjustment and we're going for 25 pounds. I think that's going to be about the right weight. If it's going to be too heavy, I'll reduce it up set number two. All right. Set up, skull crushes, previews up on the screen right now so you know exactly what we're gonna be doing. Ready to go, weights up, make sure I got room behind me, and let's go up, arms back a little bit, and then drop the weight, and that's one. Try not to move those elbows, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, five more. One, two, three, four, one more, and five. Slowly put the weights down. Notice how I do that, and we are done. That's it for the triceps. Like I said, 
they got worked already when you were doing your chest work, when you were doing the floor presses, the tricep got a good amount of work. So this was just a finisher. So if you wanna do a little more repetitions, go a little bit higher towards failure or closer towards failure, that's perfectly fine. These are relatively small muscles. It's an isolation type of movement. You can push it a little bit more without having that fear of getting hurt. Like if you were doing maybe a squat or a deadlift or even your floor press or a bench press, they're multi-joint movements. So they're compound movements. So you will have to, you have a tendency to get more of an ability to lift more weight. Thus you can get hurt much easier. Anyway, done talking. We did the triceps. I can feel them even though it's only 12 repetitions because they already got it worked. Now we're going to go for curls. So I'm going to stick with the 25 pounds and we're going for singles. Ready? One set. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, one, and that's two. Keep going. One, that's three. Four, nice and slow negative. Five, and five. Keep up. Six, six, seven, and seven. Let's do five more per arm. Ready? One, and that's one. Keep it up with me. Two, and that's two. Three, and that's three. Good job. Four, and four, and last one, five, and five, and nice and easy on the way down. All right, re-rack the weights. And we are done with the dumbbell portion of the workout. We are now moving on to a little bit of core. Just one set, just one set. Some reverse crunches, that's it. So whenever you're doing core exercises, you either wanna bring your knees to your chest, or your chest to your knees. If you're kind of doing a hinge motion like this, mostly works your hips. But if you're doing a hinge motion that kind of curls, then you start engaging the core. So today we're just gonna do some a set of reverse curls. Not too many, we're just starting out. So basically you're just gonna go up and then down. Up and down. You guys ready to go? How many? I don't know, let's go for 20. How is 20? Let's go for 20 in three, two, one, up and down, up and down, three, four, notice how my butt comes off the ground if I, if you can, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Let's go 10 more. One. Also, my hands are underneath my butt to protect the lower back so it doesn't arch. Three. Four. Five. Five more. One. Two. Keep it up. Three. Two more. One. And last one. And two. And down. All right, guys, that was it. Hope you enjoyed the workout. My name is Paul. This is Fit After 50. This was your first, my first dumbbell workout at home, showing you how you should start training if you're starting later in your life or if you're completely untrained. Start slow and build on it. Don't do the reverse. Don't start quick, get hurt, and then what? Wait. Thanks for joining me today at Fit After 50. Workouts do come out every Monday and Thursday. Monday and Thursday, God, I can't speak. And I'll see you guys from the basement during your next workout.